Uh, let's say when I say five, I mean rolling a five, okay? What's the probability of rolling a five? How many outcomes are going to let us accomplish our event of rolling a five? How many outcomes let us roll a five? How many fives are on the die? So there's only one specific outcome that's going to allow us to accomplish this particular event. How many choices do we have? So our probability is going to be one out of six. You with me on this? Can you tell me, let's think about this. If you have two events which are complementary, which means you're either in one event or the other, and that takes care of everything that could possibly happen, true? What does the probability, what is the probability of the complement of five, or not rolling a five, have to be? Without even looking at how many choices, we can probably figure this out, can't we? Because you're either going to be here, or you're going to be here. So why don't you tell me, if this is one sixth, what does this one have to be for sure? Five. Great. How much do you think the probability of an event plus the probability of the complement of that event has to add up to all the time? What do you think? Well, it's going to add to the sum. Sure. What's that sum have to be? Do you think? What was that? One. It's going to be one. Yeah. If you add those probabilities, shouldn't you get one? Which stands for a hundred percent of everything, right? Because you're either you're either here or here. You're not you're not anywhere else. So if you add those probabilities together of the event plus the complement, that accounts for everything that could possibly happen. So there's uh, you're a hundred percent certain that you're going to be in one of those two places. Does this make sense to you? Okay, so probability of not rolling a five, and you, you can see it. I mean, there's one, two, three. There's five choices that you could have for not rolling a five. Out of our six possible choices, we get five, six, seven, eight. And we'll write that little note. The probability of an event plus the probability of the complement of that event, it has to equal one all the time. Probability of an event plus the probability of the complement must equal one. In more basic terminology, if you have the probability of some event plus the probability of its complement, well, you got one. We're going to kind of revisit this um, towards the, la the latter part of section 4.3. This isn't kind of going to come back at you. But if you understand it now, then you're, you're ahead of the game. Do you understand why this takes place here? If they're mutually exclusive, you have to be either here or here. You can't be anywhere else. So if you add those probabilities together, that accounts for everything. You have a 100% probability that you're going to be in that, that range. Do you guys feel good about the section 4.2 that we've talked about so far? Feel all right with that? Good. You having fun yet? Just lie and say, yes, this is awesome. So glad I'm here on Wednesday. Aren't you? Okay, good. Good. Glad. Well, that takes care of our 4.2. We're going to go ahead and start 4.3 now.